So hey, it's me, uh, Kali from uh, Tech Fanciers. So I have been using this uh, Superior OS on my Redmi Note 11 for quite some time. And this is first time that I am trying uh, Superior OS on any of my device. And surprisingly, it is good. So let's take a look. So this is latest unofficial Superior OS Android 13 based currently running on the Redmi Note 11 4 plus 64 GB space variant. It is with the latest uh, June 5th uh, security patch with Android 11 kernel. We'll see more about that in the performance section. The kernel here is Perf which is the which is based on 4.19.157 which is the same kernel which we have seen on the MIUI uh, 14 port in the previous uh, Redmi Note 11 video. The boot animation here is minimal and looks stunning. We will go through the uh, test cases which I have uh, run uh, one by one starting from the DRM status. DRM wise it passes the level 1 so uh, you can watch the uh, or stream the uh, content in your OTT platform like Netflix and Amazon Prime in the uh, full HD. Second we have uh, run the CPU throttling. CPU throttling wise I have run it for uh, 15 minutes straight uh, on the device. Uh, it got little bit warm not that much hot uh, so uh, it stayed almost 74% almost all the time uh, which is not that great when compared to other OSs but it is still fine. I have also run the Geekbench 6 and the score uh, for single core I got uh, around 418 and in the multi core I got the 1499 with the uh, graphical uh, performance score of uh, 348 computational. After that I have run the uh, 3D mark. It is where it got uh, shined really well. The superior OS uh, with the Android 11 kernel was really great. I just uh, about to get, I was uh, uh, getting like 450 uh, score. When compared to in MIUI we got only 54 and in uh, Fixel experience we got around 336 which is almost double when compared to other uh, or four times better uh, compared to other uh, ports and I got the 2.70 uh, FPS uh, which is uh, again uh, great when compared to 1.4 FPS in the uh, PE so graphical wise it would be uh, it is uh, better in my opinion also uh, I have uh, tested the camera to APA and uh, I have installed the camera prop and it was uh, level 3 enabled by default so you can uh, install Gcam if you have any uh, compatible port available also I have run the uh, safety net safety net uh, passes by default you don't need to do uh, anything also the device is fully encrypted uh, storage uh, which is again great I also have uh, tested the net monster and it was able to connect uh, two bands uh, simultaneously and yes uh, carrier aggregation 4g plus works fine on this uh, particular build. Also when talking about the day-to-day -day performance, it was uh, really fine. I have uh, switching between different apps, YouTube, Instagram and other applications and almost it stayed uh, relevant to my uh, situation, uh, which is what I was expecting uh, from this as it is uh, good at uh, doing uh, multitasking. So uh, before uh, proceeding further, let's talk about uh, gaming. So I have installed the BGMI. So let's see the uh, gameplay. So 
battery backup wise uh, it stood uh, really well i was getting around uh, 6 to 8 9 hours of uh, screen on time and charging also a little bit faster when compared to other custom uh, rom it is not faster like uh, miua it was charging around uh, 19 watt uh, when i was checking in the lock screen so it took around uh, one hour uh, 10 minutes or something so within that time it will be able to uh, fully charge the device let's talk about uh, good and bad aspects of uh, this particular uh, superior os so what are all the good things well uh, the charging is faster than other uh, custom rom uh, which is actually uh, great second is there is one uh, music player app uh, by default they are telling it is open source which is uh, va music where you can listen to songs with the internet connection i don't uh, i don't know whether uh, you can download it i have tried it there is no option to download it to listen to offline but you can uh, download uh, music from some other uh, sources and you can use it and you can listen to the songs uh, which is really really great there are a lot of uh, cool features uh, in the settings uh, called superior lab where you have uh, tons of uh, customization like uh, network monitor indicator game mode or else customization in the uh, status bar or something so this kind of customization are uh, really uh, great and refreshing also we have an option to enable advanced uh, reboot mode where you can directly reboot to your uh, recovery or bootloader also this uh, build overall looks uh, minimal and clean which i liked uh, a lot also once you enable the developer option you will get an option to uh, do a lot of stuff with the uh, your current uh, launcher here we have a Pixel Experience uh, Plus launcher, uh, but I didn't do much of a customization there, but uh, it is available if you are interested to do some uh, manipulation in the home screen or something. So these are all the uh, overall good things about uh, this uh, particular ROM. So what are all the bad aspects of this one? Like uh, there isn't uh, much to complain here. Uh, there is no face unlock or there is no me camera. Here we have some AOSP camera or something by default. And it is uh, major thing is it is an unofficial build. So you may not receive OTA or else you may have to download the recent uh, superior voice and they have to side load it uh, with the superior recovery which is already installed by default so yeah that is uh, overall thing so what is uh, the verdict well it is actually good uh, rom you can use it for another uh, six months or eight months it doesn't make uh, any issue yeah i actually uh, like this uh, one so how to install it well it is simple you can just uh, install twrp and you can enable adb side load and you can side load this uh, rom and you can swap the uh, slot and reboot success so if you want to wa watch a video of installing it you may check out uh, this video or something which will uh, perfectly uh, which is different os but still it just uh, fine uh, so yeah thank you for watching code motor